All right, we're here with the NCAA Division II West Region Champions, Cal State San Bernardino Coyotes head coach Gus Arginal and student athletes Evan Guillory and tournament MVP Chris Mitchell. Coach, if you just start us off here with some comments about tonight's game. It's hard to, it's hard to put it into words. Um, when you compete on such a stage, you're able to do this with these, these great like, student athletes. We've talked about this, I guess, I keep saying since August. Um, and so to be able to actually cut down a net, sit here, make the plays at the end of the game. I, I told the guys, these two, when I was walking in, I feel like I'm going to wake up uh, from my nap before uh, the game here. But um, credit goes to Azusa Pacific. Their staff, uh, their program is a storied one. They've been to the NCAA tournament multiple times. Um, so I give them great credit. That was a really, really, really close game at the end. And we've done what we've done all season, which is make big stops at huge parts of the game, loose balls, rebounds. Um, and these two guys uh, did a great job to help us get it done um, on the biggest stage. What did you think the difference in tonight's game was? I thought we were really physical. I thought that as the game wore on, um, our ability to get out to three-point shooters, they only made three threes. They averaged eight. So we were physical with them all night, and I think that wore them down. We made them play a two-point game, and in doing that, I think that really allowed us to extend and not allow them to make, even though they made a ton of big runs, a huge run to take the lead or anything like that. And how did you like the way that your guys responded once you guys, I think, were up 16 at one point <laughs> in the first half, and they cut it down to, I believe, two? There, um, how, how pleased were you with the way that your guys responded? Uh, I mean, there's, it's usually a game of three runs. Um, and there's going to be one big one in the first half, then there's probably going to be two in the second half. And so I thought we won two of those three runs. Um, and again, I thought they responded. And, and these guys were talking maybe more than they have all year. Less than the coaches, and it was just about them staying poised and composed and, and making the big plays and stops. So it goes to them. Evan, how's it feel to be a region champion? <laughs> it feels great. Man. It feels great. And, and having uh, the belief system in the coaches and, and stuff like that, it just uh, – it's very bittersweet. It's very sweet. There's a lot of hard work put in this year, and uh, you know, to win again, it's it's hard to win in college. It's super hard. So when you win, you got to cherish it, and, and uh, we have way more work to do for sure. What do you think was key for you guys throughout this whole tournament? I think our grit. I think our ability to, to buckle in when things weren't going our way. We were battling adversity. The, the way we all responded, and, and the coaches, like I said, just reinforcing that stuff. Like it's not going to be easy. You know, so I think our mentality, mindset was was the biggest thing. Let's see, with the piece of the yeah. net though, or was that like enough there? Oh, it was good. It's always good. Take this home and stare at it all night. I don't know. Do something. <laughs> and Chris, I mean, you played phenomenally throughout this tournament. Um, how do you feel about your effort and how you get rewarded with the regional championship? Uh, I feel great. I mean, I really couldn't do it without my teammates. You know, and um, me and Gus talked in the early, early recruitment. Is like, things we could have done, you know. He already talked about this stuff weeks, months before we even started practicing about what our goals were for the season, and we started this in August. So I think just seeing it now is like all the work is really paying off. So what was the feeling on, among the players when Azusa made that run in the second half and really made it a close game? <laughs> um, personally, I think like we kind of like held our ground. I think it's nothing new we've seen before, I think as a team. We had a couple games like that early on in the season that we just learned from. So I think really what helped us was our defense and just talking. There was nothing really new. I guess for any of you guys, I mean, how's it feel to be going to the Elite Eight? You know, three wins away from a national title. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Never been. So Never I'm, been. I'm, yeah. I'm stoked. I'm yeah, stoked. It doesn't feel real right yeah, now. One in a row. <laughs> yeah, we, we, yeah, we've talked about it all year long. It's kind of like our hashtag one in a row. Play as good as you can for the next game up, the next game through Super Bowl. And I felt like from November, we really put a target on our own back. The pressure was on us all year, and I think it's helped them know that, hey, we're kind of getting, we're, we've been hunted all season. Um, and these guys have responded each game, and, and when we have them, we re we've really taken the time to learn from it. Um, so now to be in, have a chance to, to go win one more and, and try to, you know, advance to the Final Four and all the things that you're talking about, um, I think they're built for it. So I'm really excited about the opportunity to be on the biggest stage um, that you can be on in college basketball and have a chance to advance and represent this university that's a storied basketball program and athletic department. Um, and I want to thank my athletic director, Sri, for giving me the opportunity to be here and, and these, these young men this opportunity. My staff has been phenomenal all year. Uh, Tim Ross is in here right now, but Marcus Black, uh, Micah Dykes. And so we're just so excited and we'll go represent the CC2A. Good. Any questions? All right, congratulations, Cal State San Bernardino. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Uh, That's good. I hope you're short. Uh, figure this all out right so the interlace, like traveling. I'm not stressed about 